g'day again. In my first blog I spoke about how I've been commissioned by the Queensland Music Festival to create a concerto, which is an orchestral piece with a featured soloist. And that soloist is Manu Delago with our very own Queensland Youth Orchestra conducted by John Kuro. It's going to be performed on the 29th of July, which is actually coming up pretty soon. Manu plays the hang, a recently invented pitched percussion instrument. So now I'm going to give you some details about how that instrument works. One of the most challenging things about being a composer is having to write the music without always physically hearing it. Unsurprisingly, I don't own a hang, so this challenge was certainly present while I was writing. I had to give some really special attention to this instrument, because not only does it have an unfamiliar sound, but it has a very special playing method too. And I want to talk you through that a bit now. Firstly, each drum is modal. This means that a single drum doesn't play all the notes that you'd find on a piano. That's what we call a chromatic scale, but instead it only has a specially chosen selection of those notes. Manu normally sets up three drums at once, and each of these plays a different mode. Some of the notes overlap, but between the three drums he can get all the chromatic possibilities. But it's not quite that simple. Generally, some patterns are easier than others because of the natural pattern of hand strikes and the way that the hands are positioned. So we can see that an upward or a downward scale on a single hang is easy enough. Whereas a chromatic scale, while possible, needs all three hangs with Manu stretching across and alternating between drums. I find it difficult to pick out the chromatic scale on this piece of paper, though I'm no expert. See, and if you let me get a bit detailed here, typical classical instruments have been refined in ways that facilitate chromatic possibilities. In fact, Western music has prioritised pitch relationships and even relies on a specific tuning system to allow for this. For example, when we stack our fifth interval, two really cool things happen. We end up back on the same pitch set we started on, and we also hit all of our 12 pitch sets along the way. Our very system of tuning pushes us towards exploring chromatic relationships. But the hang is not really like this. Due to a player's physical motion in combination with the drum's physics, modal sounds are prioritised ahead of chromatic sounds. From the start, I found this really interesting. I'm really into modal sounds anyway. Modes have a unique way of sounding both ancient and new. So the hang appealed to me straight away. I decided to embrace the scales of the hang. These would be the music's basic elements. But there was a philosophy behind this as well. See, the piece is for youth, it's a youth orchestra. I think about these people spending so long in a practice room refining what they do. It's a kind of a fortitude. John talked about how music making is such a positive investment of energy for a young person. This made me think. I've envisioned these young musicians sitting and practicing scales over and over, hour after hour, year after year. So that was it the themes must be scalic. And the main theme in the music is nothing other than a modal scale, broken up with a simple rhythmic motif. some more ideas and I hope I see you back soon for my third instalment. 